All right, so I had a friend hit me up and say he was having trouble playing a Safina player. He said he got ran through the Safina player a lot, and I wanted to watch the replays to see if there's anything as a Safina main, as a Safina player myself, that would help him better navigate the matchup. I already watched Get these matches the and I made a lot battle. of notes, so hopefully I don't like take forever. Let's see what I could recall from watching. Alright, right, so you got hit with down back two. That's a 13 frame move, and you try to do down two. Down back two is a counter hit knockdown. It's 13 frames. I mean, that's not a that's not a big deal. Just know that it's something that could happen. I mean, you would have lost it down for one. All right, this right here. This isn't even Safina. This is just the technical note. Now, I'm not gonna knock you too hard because this is the first match you're playing the Safina player. You, he whiffs um, down three into the claw move, right? What does he do? He does this. He's too far away. Classic problem for Safina. You had the right idea to try a whiff punish, but it's not gonna work. Back four is not gonna reach. You see that? This was a problem you had a lot is you tried to whiff punish with back four a lot in this set and you needed a different whiff punish luckily i kind of went through and quickly lab what you should do this is what you should do in your replace over like what what will reach here right so let's let's go ahead you see that quarter circle forward two is the ultimate answer so i would definitely say one thing not even safina you need to lab your whiff punishes you need to understand which moves do the best and whiff punishing i wrote some of them out but uh let me see if i find them Yes, I can't find them, but I'll tell you right now. Right, look, you could do forward three, one plus two. Look, and you would have hit him. See back forward. That's not gonna. The, oh, the second hit would have hit. If you would have finished it, it would have it would have hit. So there you go. Or you could run up and do down forward two. This is kind of risky though because if you are wrong or if the move has weird hitboxes, you might get clipped. Or if you're late. You know you'll be negative frames they could punish you quarter circle forward two seems to be the gold standard that's what i just noticed now because i'm playing dragon off as well on the side and i don't do quarter circle forward to whiff punish anyway let's return so you got to get your whiff punishes chris but whatever it's the start of, it's the first match it's the first match if you would have finished that back forth you would have hit see replay takeover all right this is good you get a down two counter hit you go for the full crouch you get the sneak four and you grab bro what are you doing <laughs> you grab and you get he for y'all are both crazy first of all you're dragon ball. why did you do a high why did he hard duck he did this a lot too off a of heat engager he hard duck into stand while standing one two so what i would say is man you need to work on your offensive flow charts that's not even safina stuff so like I would recommend to you when you land the heat engager right instead of trying a high or a low just do running two running two into back four two that is a good flow chart because here's the thing if you do the mid move running two right or back even back four two off heat engager if they hit because they uh if they get hit because they ducked that means um you know that they're willing to duck off a heat engager without you having to risk getting launched right you didn't know if he would duck or not, but you did the grab, and you got launched. Uh, if you did a mid, you would have hit him, and then that also sh would have put a note in your brain like, yay, this guy's crazy, he will duck off a heat engager. So I gotta be careful. And then that would have trained him, probably, or not, to stop ducking off of a heat engager. You understand what I'm saying? The other thing I noticed too, I labbed this, watch this i labbed the grab you did and it wasn't even a good choice because watch this you did the grab right which i think later on in the set you do a, a file you do a setup off of this which is why i think you do it but look you would have been back to the wall you would have had him pushing you close to the wall so that wasn't even like the best idea in my opinion and don't get me wrong you can go for highs and i go for highs and lows off a of heat engager but just first thing you do should probably just be a mid you know what i'm saying so just be careful be cognizant now this is great you did great here oh i forgot to say this is i'm basically what i'm doing also is i'm kind of grading your ground your your rounds i'm grading 
So for example, um, you missed the whiff. I'm not gonna hold that against you. You got the heat engager. You got a good flow chart to the heat engager. That's plus one. You lost the point, so now you're back to zero because you tried to grab off a heat engager. And you're gonna lose a point here from me for dropping the combo. I saw what you did in the inputs. You tried to do quarter circle forward three plus four. What you should, I actually lab this too for you. So what you should have did is the easy combo, except the easy combo doesn't work. So what you have to do, which again, this is why replay takeover is important. I learned this, you can run up, see that? And now it works. So that's what you should have did. You should have ran up and do the easy combo. Basically what I'm really saying is, you tried to go for the hard combo, but um, when I show you this video, do you even practice that combo, man? Because you failed it here. And if you have inconsistent combos, like, like you had a whole launch, you could have got damaged just like I did there. You are better off doing the easy combo than trying to stunt and style with the hard combo. So you got to practice those things. And if you can't do them consistently, you might as well just do something else. It's better for you to be consistent with your punish or whatever it is, your, your combo, than to you to try to stretch it and do something that's not going to work. Now, luckily, though, you're dragging off. So you just back four, three them on wake up. You hit them with a run. And so you, you just ran them over and won the round. Oh, man, I was only round one. This is going bad. I don't see. This shit was funny, bro. You tried to power crush. Don't do that anymore. Don't do that anymore. Right? So he hits you with a down four, one, three, which was crazy. This had me stuck when I first watched it. Like, how come the power crush didn't work? But anyway. Yo, so also the other thing is, bro, you got to use your... Con I know you don't know Safina, but use your context clues. When you get hit like this with this spin around... You're like minus 12, minus 13. Some characters have different frame properties. It's like minus 13, minus 12. And then you try to power crush. A, it's not going to work, bro. And then he did a low launcher, which he didn't even do the combo. Um, but look, this is what you should have did. You should have got hit and you should have held back. And then you sidewalk the claw. Or even this, you get hit, you block the claw. And then you, you keep backdashing and deal with it later. So like you want to, for example, right? Let's do it again. You want to power crush, right? Okay, let's, let's see what you did. You power crush. Like, you want to power. It's good, right? It's effective. But this is what you should have did, right? Block. Now you power crush. You see this? What? It, so this is an important thing. This isn't really like... Dra this isn't even Safina or Dragunov. This is just like Tekken stuff. It's better for you, instead of doing the first thing that seems to be the best thing, sometimes you want to... You want to kick the can down the road. What I'm saying is... Had you done what I said, right? Not mash your power crush, because that was foolish. You could have blocked this and then power crushed later. Does that make sense? So I would have blocked the claw and then now he's running. Power crush. Boom. Anyway, you got hit. You're getting shipped up right now. Again, this was this move is weird. I'm gonna do this move a lot more for Safina. He whiffed and you tried to back four. That's not going to work. You have to do like forward three, one plus two or something else or quarter circle forward two. That move is weird though. Like it, every time I tried to quarter circle forward two, it was really strict and I kept getting hit by the leftover claw. All right. So what did you do? Th this was something else I didn't like either. You did back four. It doesn't work. Then you did back four, three. Bro, you do back four, three way too much because here's the thing. You just did back four, three, right? It is minus nine. You see on the bottom left of the screen, you have given up your turn. Had you done a plus frame move, like back one plus two, running two, right? Run it right here, running two. It's not even Safina shit, bro. Running two. You got to get your offensive flow charts and your responses to be better. You have to lab what you're going to do on minus nine. How are you going to take your turn back? You have a lot of plus frame moves and you're not using them. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. You give up your turn, that's bad offense. And then he jabs you. This is another problem you have. It's not even Safina. I bet this happens with every character. He did a jab on block, right? You are minus one. And then it looks like you tried to jab. It didn't work. It came out too late. You got hit with down four, one, four. You got hit with a 13 frame move. Okay, this is good. You didn't power crush into down three. Claw. What are you doing, bro? This move, all right, you're not familiar. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna put at the end moves you need to lab. You need to lab this move, this um, 
Let me see. This right here, ready? This flow chart right here, you need to lag. He's gonna do this. This is down three, right? He's gonna go into Mantis Stance right here. This when you see her creeping on the ground like a hoe, that's Mantis Stance. This claw is plus six. You are minus six right now. And you tried to do down forward two. So I'm gonna chalk that up to you just being unfamiliar with Safina. So so this is something you have to come and replay take over and lab. But I, to you, it might not seem like a big deal. It's but it's, he kind of saved you by doing a pow, uh, heat burst. He saved you here. Down forward one or a counter hit, you would have died. But you're still alive. And you do yours back. Okay. And then he hits you with the claw. So this is another key point. This is also Tekken for you. This is not even Safina dragon off. This is Tekken. This... There are many critical points in the match you need to take note of and have good recall and memory about. And the two most obvious ones are the start of the match and heat burst situations. So he heat bursts you. You did a good thing. You heat burst back. He could have he could have did his heat smash on you would have been dead. But whatever. He, he technically did. He went for the wacky heat smash. But, um, you heat smash back. Okay, it worked. And then he went, now you hit him. You are plus two, see he's in crouch? Let me tell you a little trick. Watch this. It's over. Right, when you do this, just go for a grab. You would have beat the power crush claw. You would have beat it. Um, also, you caught somebody sidestepping. Um, it's just good because the grab is pretty fast. Let me see. 12 frames another thing you could do right you do your heat burst sidestep see that sidestepping side walking and sidestepping after heat burst is usually pretty good of course it's not one size fit all these are important things like if you do a heat burst into a sidestep and they do a tracking move obviously next time don't do that vice versa Try to spam spam a generic grab more. This is funny. Spam generic grabs more after you initiate your heat burst. Or even if they initiate their heat burst. Because it's going to be like a tracking move. And people often sidestep or do a slow move after. Unless they have like a fast heat smash like Jack or Safina or uh, June. This is funny as hell. I want to watch this. One thing I noticed about you two is you do not like these situations where you feel like you don't have control what you need to do instead of power crush dick jab whatever you did in the first round oh down two you need to block bro so you dick jab and it didn't even matter he just backdashed away from you so here's the safina thing safina's backdash is really good she can backdash out of things other players can't backdash out of so when you do moves at the start of the match, she's probably going to, if she does a backdash, she's probably going to make you whiff unless you do a slow move that reaches far, right? So what happens here is you dick jab because you don't like those situations that makes you uncomfortable, I imagine. And you're losing a lot at the beginning of the round. Um, it doesn't work. And what he does is a common Safina flow chart. Backdash, duck, while standing one, two, confirm. He didn't even confirm it because he you blocked the first move. So you have to be cognizant that he's going to do that and that Safina players might do this. Not all of us do it, but it's a very good move. I like to do it a lot, actually. I like to confirm if I can. Um, let me just test one thing real quick. Round three. Fight. So I think, if I'm not mistaken... As soon as you see the while standing one, this is Safina stuff. As soon as you see the while standing one and you block it, you could just do a 10 frame punish. If not, it's minus 13, so you could do your 12 frame. But look, see that? Look. So in this case, one to one counter hit would have worked because he finished the string. Or you could do this. So keep that in mind. But you, you really got killed by this move a lot, man. You were enjoy You told me this move killed you. You need to get used to this move. And 
possibly spend like a few minutes for the next day or two just like dedicate a few minutes to a couple safina moves uh because this move and uh what other move killed you a lot there was some other safina move he did that killed you a lot i'm sure it'll come up anyway he's gonna do some sorry ass combo to the world shout out to bloodhound though he loves safina players that combo was weak he does four forward three what do you do this oh this was what you died to you died to while standing one two and this fucking move bro scarecrow one uh scarecrow two one so look this move right here watch he's gonna do four four three this big ass left stomp it is plus five you know what that means the the scarecrow two one is 14 frames you are stuck i thought it was plus four but maybe because you're back against the wall <clears throat> anyway whatever you get hit by this a lot bro. like what are you doing you try to jab it's just like you're not familiar so you need to lab this move you need to lab it because i'm gonna tell you right now, any basically any claw move and i have more moves for you at the end of the video any claw moves you need to lab what you're gonna do because they're plus frame but they have pushback so it's tricky and not everything is plus frame right but usually all the claw moves have pushback so they could be like minus nine and have pushback which I think is going to come into play right here. So, listen. so <laughs> just... What are you doing, dude? You, this, you did this like five times off heat engagement. You raw ducked and tried to wild stand in two. Why? I do not know. I want to know. When you see this, tell me what was happening that makes you do this so much to this Safina player. Because I'm not sure why you were ducking and wild standing two so much. You did this like... At least one other time, maybe a third time. All right, so he, you get off easy because he doesn't do the proper combo to you. And then what is he gonna do? So remember what I said: lab the claw moves, right? This is forward one plus two. Look at this. You're plus nine. It's minus nine. It's your turn. But look at the pushback. You see that? Watch this. Let's see. Let's watch the numbers at a distance. Okay, so picture this shit. Look, he goes from 1.11, right? Right on your feet. Safina's feet are on your boots. You're right next to each other. Four, one plus two. Look, it pushes you to beyond two. And remember, I know I told you in Discord, dragon offs, jabs are stubby. And Safina with these pushbacks is a good setup to get whips. And this Safina player runs. You gotta lab this too, this, this move right This is one four. You did a good, you blocked. That's good. Anytime you block, man, it's a good thing. Because now you could power crush right here, probably. But he did 1 plus 2. Another thing? You kept dying to this. I'm going to run this back to the end real quick. Not dying, but you kept getting hit by this. He would do 1 plus 2, which is minus 11. Don't worry about punishing him. Oh, this This, again, this claw move, look at the pushback. That's what I'm saying. This claw move has pushback, but it's plus six. So a lot of Safina players will either do down three or one plus two. He did one plus two. This move is tricky. I want you to lab this move too, uh, but he didn't really kill you with this, but it's good for you to know if you don't know. One plus two, and then she has two follow-ups. It's one plus two, four, four. Uh, the first one is punishable. They're all punishable, but it's hard to punish because... If you try to punish it and she does the second one, you get launched. You get counter hit launched. So the thing that baffles me is this happened another time too. It happened like one or two more times. He would do one plus two into down forward one or some jab. And like you didn't react in time. So like even if you're not punishing, at least you should take your turn. This, oh my God, I felt so bad for you. This is not your fault, dude. I labbed this too. I saw it. I had specific this is minus 14 i don't know if you were trying to punish properly i think you were when you <laughs> when it hits at max range like this it becomes minus 13 instead of 14. so you're back four three <laughs> you basically got robbed all right so anyway he jabs you trade you do four four he sidestep but he doesn't really know what to do with it i would say this too man check this out if you would have did this instead so if you would have traded with him right Wait, no. well, I don't know 
See, you, if you would have sidestepped there with him, you would have tracked him. See that? I didn't do the right move. You did 4-4, I think. But whatever. You get the idea. So one thing I want to see you do, a general note, is you need to sidestep, like quick sidestep, and then do your button. So like you love to spam back 4-3. I don't know why. You need to sidestep, then back 4-3. You need to sidestep, then down 2. You need to sidestep and 4-4. Four, four. That way you don't get whiffed. You don't whiff like that. It's a problem I have too. All right, but he doesn't know what to do with it. You caught a break. So this this pissed me off too, bro. He hits you with a jab, bro. You got to pay attention to when you're getting hit and when you block something. You need to pay attention to when you throw a move out and they block it or they get hit by it. You got hit with a, a one jab. You're minus eight. You try to do, I don't know what, down four, one four, and you try to block. It didn't work. Whatever you're doing, you were, you were fucking up. Your movement was bad here. You had input errors all over the place. Like, you got hit. You should block or sidestep. Now, I'm proud of you for this. You got hit with that move, and now you learned not to mash Power Crush. This is good. You did dick jab. Now, this is offensive flow chart. You try to stand up and go into back 4-3. Yo, back 4-3 lets you down so much in these matches. What you should have did was do this while standing for him. Oops, let me uh while standing for him. See that? That would have cut that off. Big jab, side step. See that? Grab. Big jab, while standing for. Big jab, sidewalk to punish. Big jab, grab. These are good things. Or big jab, keepers. Oh shit. Big jab, he first. Boom. So you gotta get your, your flow charts up better. You can't like you 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 try to stand up and do back four and he try to do his while standing three. Look. He did while standing three, which is twelve frames. You have to crouch cancel to get to back four three, which is fourteen. It's not gonna work. So you need to stop doing back four three. You did way too much, bro. Which is like weird to say because that's one of his best moves but it's like yo you really you gotta do other moves man you gotta play his plus frames this too i want you to lab this you kind of got fucked over here because you got hit right here and I, you were probably discombobulated and then you try to spam jab back but you need to react to this move because you lost to this in the second match but whatever first match okay he burst now remember what i told you grab no, you did down too. This is funny too. This is like, I could do this all day with you. No, go back. Watch this. So I'm gonna enable controls for you. You did down too, which traded. But watch this. Down two, how, how many frames is it? Watch the left. It's 18 frames. If you would've just did ankle tap, you would've cut him off. Down four, you would've cut him off. Grab. Cut them off. So you got to work on these heat interactions. Right? So you heat burst. You are plus two. You went for a move that was too slow there. Right, so let's see. Now you're getting apprehensive. The momentum is in the air. So I don't agree with this either. I would have did running two and then you could have did heat smash. Or this you could have did running two, right? Which would have hit him? Was it a counter hit? It was not. So you would have just knocked him down. And you could have ran out for Oki. Down to a set of quarter circle forward four. And now you don't have heat. He blocked that and didn't block it. Hilarity ensues. So that was a lot, I know. But I noticed most of your problems in that first match. You actually adapted a lot better. In the second match so i just want to reiterate real quick uh round one i forgot about the point system but i i do i did write it down you got a good flow chart heat engager you got one point you did a grab after heat engage which got you launched i don't agree with that back down minus one to zero and then you dropped your running two combo which is another minus one in my book you should have did the easy combo come on now so you ended that match with a minus one score in foolish as it sells book Let's go watch the second replay.
which I, I saw you adapting to Get things a lot better, actually, so. How long is this video? 25. Oof. Sorry. Round one. All right. So I wonder what you're going to do in the round start. All right, you did down four one, down two, down four one. These aren't bad things, but especially Safina is going to backdash you right and make you whiff. Um, most characters can backdash a down four one at the start of a match too, Safina especially. So you did down four one, and again he does backdash. Remember, this is a good Safina flow chart. Backdash, crouch, one two, while standing one two. So that's why you got hit with that there. Good backdash, and then it's a good flow chart to try. He's not confirming it, but he knows it works out. And people probably don't punish him hard for it. Another thing is like, yo, y'all should have turned. You guys need to turn your heat on more. I think it's going to come up right now for you. All right, so you cut him off. Let's see what you do. You have... You did the wake up kick low. Which puts you at plus seven. He did the claw and you did the wow crouching down for one. But I think you got spooked by the claw and you didn't finish. So this is what makes me believe you have good reactions. Because I think you saw the claw and you stopped. But in reality, you were fine. Down 4-1. This was, this was clever. So you did down 4-1, four, 4. He didn't duck. He's not going to. And this, look, you basically Safina the Safina player. You backdashed. I, don't, I think he probably wanted to do like something else. But anyway, he whiffs, and you get a great down forward two. Now, right now in the point system, I am going to hold against you. Oh, this is the second game. What am I holding against you? No, you got a whiff punish. Okay, plus one. You have one point. This minus one. What are you doing? Activate your heat and take him to the wall. And I saw what you, I don't know if you know what you were doing here. Let me know. You did quarter circle forward four after, which I don't know if it's a setup, but it worked out for you. So you got your damage, right? But let me show you something. So let's take over. The damage, don't, the damage is going to be the same. It's going to register. It's not a combo, but it is a combo. Uh, the replay takeover combo damage is bugged. Watch this. Good cancels. All right, this is what you do instead. Four, one. And your damage ends up in the same spot from your little setup. If you notice, you could also do back four three, your favorite move. But watch, watch where your damage is up. So my damage ended up. Look at the health bar where it was in that little centerpiece right before the rage. And yours is going to be in the same spot. The reason I took one away is because. You need to go into heat more from your combos. So had you activated heat, you would have hit the wall, got the same amount of damage, and you would have had the advantage of him on the Oki with dragging off into heat. Does that make sense? Young Padawan. You would have been in heat. This is very crucial for me and Safina, right? When I get this close to the wall and I'm about to make it, I activate heat, I do my, my setup at the wall, and then I keep the pressure going. This is very crucial to Tekken 8. So you didn't do that. And neither of you are doing it. So anytime you get the combos, you need to think, should I go into heat here? More often than not, yes. But you didn't. I don't know what this was. Look this. It looks like you tried to do down forward or forward, but you ended up being in crouch. All right, what's he going to do? You get hit with this. Again, you need to, you get hit with this a lot. What did you do? Back? You try to do back four three. There's the, there's the three. Look on the left. Back, it came out mad late. Like you pressed it like you were sad. <laughs> nah, watch the left input. Right? You fucked that up. Or maybe you try to do another quarter circle forward four. I don't know what you tried to do. You did say you were rusty, so whatever. Look at this. Watch this. Motherfucker tried to do back four. Right? Look at this. The top left. Back four, and then look how many frames until three. <laughs> You was mad sad pressing that three. What does he do? He does this again. You get hit. It's the same setup, bro. You try to do while standing two again. Why are you doing this? 
Like, I'm not even being mean or nothing. Like, what is going on to make you do this? Because you're lucky he doesn't have good combos. You need to lab this too, because look. I know this is tough on the fly. It hits me too when I play a Safina player, but... The thing is, when you get hit by something that you know the answer to, it's not a bad thing. It's like almost like a wake-up call. The second time it happens, you need to be prepared. So, I, you may or may not know. You might know, but you might not know how to deal with it. Safina in Heat, all her stance setups that have claws become power crushes. Where before, they were just plus frames. So, you did Heat, which is like you think is a good idea. But power crushes, right? This claw move is a power crush in Heat. So, power crushes beat Heat Burst. That's why you got hit. So, what you should have did, let's see. Down four for Another response to this outside of heat is back four three, but it won't work. Watch. See that? I'll show you later it happens. Or even this. Down two. See that? So you need to do lows when she does these stance setups. You need to lab this. Specific subpoena setups. So you try to heat burst, he power burst through you. Still has heat. He does running three. This, I thought initially, you were like guessing. What you did was you mashed. I saw that you mashed uh, heat smash. You panicked heat smashed. But the thing is, bro, you are minus seven. Look, look, minus seven. So, and he just did a 14 frame move. And you're doing your 15 frame heat. It's not gonna work, bro. You have to block. So what you probably should have did was block and then try to power crush later, like I told you in the other game. Block and then heat smash later. That's what you need to be thinking like. Instead of instead of heat smash right this moment, you need to block or guess, but block. Then do your heat smash. Then do your power crush. Then do your uh, heat burst. That's like Tekken stuff. That's not even Safina or Dragon Isle. But uh, this works out. This was crazy because it, it didn't beat that one move the other time. Down for he did down for one. This is the same thing. 13 frames. Down for one is 13 frames. It worked. Weird. Alright. You run up. You get a run in two. So this is funny. Uh, so you saw what he did to you here? You, for whatever reason, you did run in two and then you backdash. And I think you're going to do back four three, aren't you? Oh no, you did down forward too. So you were trying to set up a whiff off running two. Like you should just go in. Just do your offense. Don't backdash. Like look, you were never gonna get this whiff. Look how close you are. It doesn't work. So you gotta be cognizant of your you have to have good offensive flow charts to keep the pressure up. Get to dragon off plus frames. Quarter circle four four, etc. Four four three, back one plus two. Uh, I'm sure I'm missing some. Whatever. Back forward two, which you never did until one grab setup. The funny thing about all this is though, is that he power crushes. So remember what I told you about you need to like block first and then power crush? Look what he does. He block first, then he power crushes and it works. This is how you need to employ your power crush. Like this type of style. Not right away, block first, then do it. Block first, let them think they have momentum, power crush. That's what he gets you. Good. Wake up. Okay, that works. Run up, down two. <sighs> Bro, you got to get used to this move. Remember what I told Again, remember what I told you. Remember what I told you. As soon as you block the first one, you could just 10 frame. See that? Alright, so you got to get used to either... Waiting for that move or getting used to cutting it off. This was bad. I don't know why he switched ball position. Okay, good. He burst. You cut off his run up. That was smart. Now what are you gonna do? You back dashed. And you got hit. <laughs> Yo, you can't f this shit up. That's funny as hell. <sighs> Combo. He's almost done with you. 
This is funny because you do back 4-3 way too much. I don't think you realize what you did here. I think you were just dying to get the back 4-3. It's minus 14, so it's a punish. Had you known that that was minus 14, you probably could have like killed him or got him really low on life. But anyway, whatever. Like what I'm what I'm really saying is you do back 4-3 way too much. You need to like back 4-2. You need to try to find quarter circle 4 4, back 1 plus 2, running 2. Uh, like even like a down two or something. I don't know something else man. You do it way too much Especially you're in heat. You should have just did back for two and ran the tackle All right This was risky. I lab this watch what he does. I'm not gonna recreate it, but I'll just tell you And this ties into what I said about sidestepping instead of backdash You do down two and then you backdash Had he did one more backdash right there Back 4-3 would have whiffed. But if you sidestepped and back 4-3, he can't backdash out of that. Because you is there's no extra space from your backdash. Anyway, you got this. You play a grab? Okay, it worked. I don't got nothing to say. Very good. Worked out. Keep that in mind. Wow, where did this come from, dude? You did quarter circle forward four out of nowhere. I'm shocked. All right, you mess up the run in two, but you had the right idea. Very good. You missed you miss the punish. This is like, we need to play some the matches more, man. That's minus 12, man. So you missed the punish. But whatever, you catch him here. You chipping him up. Chip, ooh, chipping him up. Look at all, this is non-recoverable damage. Chipped him up heavy. And you about to get hit with this shit. Look at, and you going for back four. It's like, yo, you you have to get used to the animation. Sure, Safina. You, you're doing back four. You did back four, man. Again, you try to do back four three because you can't help yourself. So you got to get these habits cleaned up. This was beautiful. Back four three worked here. Oh, uh, this, I don't know if you had a miss input here. I know you said you're rusty. Because if I labbed it, if you just ran up and did down two, he wouldn't have low parried you. I think he low parried you because you were ducking in his face. But I think you tried to do down two. All right, you're minus seven. Great job. This is so, this is such an improvement. You didn't get heat engaged by that move. Uh, I don't know what it is. You did this, you did duck and whilst, what is it? You try to do dick jab. He hits you with that move. Again, like you got hit with that again. It's really weird, like the time that it happened. This was unfortunate, but I, you need to be able to react to this move, man. The Scarecrow down forward 3-3 three, three is this, this really slow launching sweep. You need to be able to react to that. Alright, this crazy practice mode doesn't tell you this is punishable. That's hilarious, but it's punishable. Alright, don't tell me you did. What did you try to do? Back 4? Back 4-3, I swear to god, if you did back 4-3. You fuck up. Look, and you, <laughs> I guess you're trying to tech roll with these other 3s? That's mad funny. The, the way they're coming in so slow, you seem so defeated, man. You gotta stop being, stop playing defeated. Stop playing sad. It's over. Mash these threes, bro. Mash them. All right, what is he doing? He heat burst. That's like, oh, that's like ew. Okay. 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 Plus eight. I bet you don't know this your turn though. Okay. Yeah. But that's a weird ass move. Okay. This made me proud. This is good. Look. So when they do non-heat tarantula 1-4, right? And you block it. Look. Now never get hit by this again. When they do this, back 4-3. Your favorite move. Look. Boom. Counter. Heat engage. And you grab. All right, but whatever. He did that as a cell call. Okay. Oh, this was dope. Was this a setup? You did the... So you went into heat. Grab. Uh, up four one plus two okay. and then you do back four two. Oh my god the first one to the heat grab bro if you did this a lot more you would win a lot more games or maybe so i think safina had you in your feelings all right you gotta win final round get that raise okay power crush works i don't i don't think i like that 
but you disappointed me right here, man. What is this? You get your crazy power crush. Okay, fine. You do running too. You don't. Why are you backdashing so much? What is. Is your mom calling you or something? Go do dragon off things. It's too late now. Oh, you must have run too. Okay, I understand. I, I, I do it too. You gotta lab this move. I think you got hit with this before. But you block it this time and you punish it very good. I, I, I wrote this down for you to lab. Okay, you did heat he burst. Good. Now what do you do? He did while standing once. So this is S Safina specific, man. Because you did the heat burst and it put her into crouch. Plus two. Putting her into crouch, like I'm surprised he even knows to do this. He even knows to do this. While standing one two is a great option to try to confirm. Again, he's not confirming, he's just mashing it. Because if you do a high, and you did, you did a jab, like a jab or a grab, it'll go under the high. It'll crush it. He's probably going to do a sorry combo. Okay, he's still in the game. I think he's going to lose to the sweep. Again, this, you hit one plus two. You don't have to worry about punishing it. What you want to do is punish the other, the follow-ups. But for some reason, you go for back four, three. He beats you out off of being minus 11. That's crazy. You need to lab this move too. I'll stop. This is forward two three. It is a mid high. So had you ducked, you would have been. Let's let's actually do it. Let's do it. Ah oh, shit. I forgot the combo. Oh, it's like a wow. I hate this character. Maybe with the cancel, I would have got there. Oh, I didn't do the heat. Uh, I don't know if I would have reached it. If I did the cancel, you would have got to the wall. So you probably could have not killed him, but got him real low. And you would have got your health. Look at how much recoverable health. So you would have got all your health back. Not all of it, but a lot of it. Yeah, you lost to this. You gotta react to this move, man. She has a lot of like slow lows, and I would say they're hard to react to, but that one you need to you need to lab it. So that's that man. That was a long ass video. But we'll see. Um So that's that. The thing was, man, it's not really a lot of Safina stuff. It's like Tekken 8 things or like bad habits or bad, which is crazy. The game is about offense. Like you, you would cut your flow chart short. Like I really didn't see you do any plus frame moves. And um, it was really only so much Safina stuff, to be honest with you. Um, well, hopefully that helped a little. I don't know. I had fun watching it, though. I had fun watching it. So thanks for telling me about this. And sending me over to watch these replays man i hope you get better i'm always here for you okay i'm here for you buddy all right fix devil gen i'm with you bro you know i'm gonna I'm extend the solidarity olive branch fix devil gen i agree hurts to say fix that i'm gonna say it for you fix devil gen